Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a fun card. It is a Valentine's Day card but can be used for other occasions as well. I am showcasing products from the latest card kit by Simon's Stamp and I do have a giveaway for this. Uh, so make sure to check out the whole video until the end to find out how you can uh, win this card kit. So I'm starting by stamping the bear from the big stamp set included in the kit and uh, this bear is holding a big heart. The heart is quite large so you can stamp your sentiment in there and this is exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm planning to turn this flat stamped image into a dimensional one. That's why I'm going to stamp it a couple of times so that I can cut out different parts of the bear and I can do some paper piecing. Now, if you follow my videos, you already know that I don't like to spend a lot of time coloring my images. I prefer to find ways to do that quickly. So when it comes to bears, I tend to leave them as a polar bear, so mainly white. And all I have to do then is just to add a little bit of shading. And that's the case with the heart as well. So instead of coloring it in, I just use some uh, red cardstock and I'm stamping that one more time. And since I'm working on the red heart, I'm going to stamp uh, my sentiment in there as well. There are plenty of sentiments that fit inside that heart. I decided to go with um, Hello Love. I'm preparing with my pack the area before embossing to remove any static electricity. And you can do that with um, baby powder or cornstarch. And then I'm going to stamp with Versa marking my sentiment. I'm going to apply fine embossing powder in bright white. And then I'm going to heat set it. And I don't really know what it is about uh, heat embossing, but after all these years, it still looks magical to me. It's so satisfying looking at that powder melting. Now it's time to do some fuzzy cutting. That's why I grabbed my scissors. I'm going to turn this stamped image into a dimensional one. I will need three different layers. So I'm starting with the first one, which is going to be the exact image as it is. So I'm cutting it out without leaving any white border. Then from the second image, I'm just going to separate the hands. I'm cutting them out exactly where those black lines are. I'm using a black marker and going all around the edges. This is going to disguise any mistakes that you did while fuzzy cutting. The third layer is going to be the red heart, so I'm going to fuzzy cut it, leaving the hands with the heart. I will add a touch of color on my bear, so I'm going to color in the ears, the inside of the ears with uh, pink, as well as give him a couple of pink cheeks. I am also going to color in the heart with red. I'm not going to do any shading at all. This is not going to show directly. It's going to be underneath the main heart. However, you will be able to see a touch of it. To assemble my bear, I'm going to stick the hands on top of the heart. And I do have foam squares at the back to add dimension. And then for this layer with the heart, I'm going to use those wobbles just to add some uh, movement on my card and for something extra special. One side of the spring is white and this is supposed to go at the top while the other side is completely transparent and this goes at the bottom. So that way when you move the wobble you won't be able to see that white uh, part at the bottom. So now I'm going to align the heart on top and you can see how it moves. Now those wobbles weren't included in the kit this month, however, I think I have them from a previous kit ages ago. Anyway, I'm going to use the pattern paper from the kit again, and I'm going to cut out this one with the stripes, the black and white stripes, which is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's going to completely cover the standard card. And then from this uh, red cardstock, I'm going to cut it to be slightly smaller than the card base in uh, width. However, it is going to be the same height, so this way I will end up having those uh, stripes as a border on each side of the card. I am sticking the bear at the center of my panel, and uh, I think that you don't really need to add a lot on such a card. After all, you do have the wobble moving around. Now, in the kit, you will get all these little confetti pieces. These are sequins and uh, little pearls and stuff like that. It's a C6 um, pack. And um, I decided to go with the ones that are completely flat and gold. I'm going to spread them all around the bear just to give some extra touch of shine. 
The gold ones come in uh, different sizes. I decided to go with the smaller ones first and then I'm going to use three of the larger ones just to create kind of a triangle which is a placement that is always pleasing to the eye. In the kit you will also get a mini bottle of glossy accents. I didn't want to open up mine since I do already have a glossy accent in my craft room which is already open. That's why I'm using a large bottle here. So I'm going to add some glossy accents at the nose. It's going to look a little bit milky in the beginning but it's going to dry completely clear, super shiny and dimensional. So this is the finished look of my card. I'm going to stick this one on top of a standard card that's for a quarter by five and a half. And I do have a giveaway. If you want to win the February card kit by Simon's Stamp, make sure to visit my blog. You will find the link down below if you are watching on YouTube. And you have to leave me a comment there. The card kit this month is packed with products. You get the large stamp set that I used. You'll also get a smaller one with all those sweets. A jar of glitter gel. You will also get glossy accents, the sequence set by Sizzix, a stencil with hearts, and of course your paper pad, cardstock, and envelopes. If you like something of these products, you can of course get it separately and you will find all the links that you need down below. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you will all have a lovely weekend.